What is up, YouTube? It's Clee Snake. We're back at it with another video. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys my full collection as of now. This is currently April 2017. Now, I'm, I'm probably going to do around maybe five collection videos throughout the year. Um, I'm going to see if I can get this up on any channels, uh, possibly. But let's get this started. Now, to start it off, we're going to do the new shoe I just got in the mail. Uh, this is an extremely heat pair of sneakers. These have shot up in value a lot. Um, I got these for a steal compared to what they're going for on every single like app and Facebook and everything. These are going for insane prices now. Everybody's hoarding them. You probably already know what I'm talking about at the moment. But it's like, what colorway? <laughs> so I never told anyone on YouTube about this. Not many people know I bought these. Because normally I may like post something on my Snapchat story. Make sure you go add me at MetMyers30. Um, I appreciate it if you do. Um, but... Yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to get this shoe. I've always wanted these. Um, I thought 325 which was what they used to be going for, was too expensive. And then now, it's like, I dropped so much more than 325 Box is in pretty good condition. You, you already know what it is. It's like, which one though? I've had another uh, colorway, you know, the tangerines a while ago. And this is beautiful always wanted these <laughs> so excited to have these now these seem to run super big oh this lace job though that is nice um obviously they're used i'm not buying ds pairs uh, if i'm not lazy you should be seeing a picture of uh the goat what they're going for and just for that legit check for the haters we got that adidas receipt right there this was just printed out the shoes from adidas never really come with adidas receipts so this will be the first shoe I'm showing you in my collection. Um, this is the Pharrell NMD. Again, these are going for $1,000 DS on GOAT for this size, size 11. It's like um, the kid sizes in this shoe are super easy to find. Well, they're not necessarily easy to find. All of them are pretty hard to find, but um, they just don't go for nearly as much. The kid sizes are going for like, I think like 600. The, the black, first of all, is super hard to find, plus they're going for, like, so much. So, yeah, crazy shoe, super expensive shoe, nice little kick. I've always wanted a pair of these. I was about to buy Brandon's when he was in Cleveland, and he was charging, like, 550 I ended up getting these for 480 all in, and if you need a pair of these, buy these right now, like, go, what they're going for, because they're just shooting up on the daily. All right, now here, I'm just going to bring uh, just everything over here. We got the blue uh, Pure Boost, nothing special about these, just blue shoe, um, just blue, you know, I got this for 20 bucks. Um, you know, my collection from the Scoop video has completely changed, so if any of you are still watching that, it's completely different. Uh, we got these, uh, these are like the CP3 All-Stars, right there, nothing special. I used to have Gucci slides, but I sold them. Um, people were complaining I should have bought Timberlands, so I bought them. Again, the heat hasn't came yet. It's not coming yet. Um, I'm just pulling back every shoe I see. Some free runs. I use it for track. Nothing special. Um, you guys are probably gonna get pissed at me. I'm showing you guys these. And then y'all were complaining about these Uggs, man. Like I don't understand. Uggs are comfy for the winter, and it's like who the fuck cares? So I got Uggs. Uh, I'm going probably a little bit too fast, but here are some Vans. I found these for like fifty dollars at. Uh, Pack sun. Now, I always see on the restock side that these are like restocking, so I don't know if these like sell out a lot. This checkerboard pattern, these are pretty cool. It's like a cream with a checkerboard. These are pretty cool. Um, we got. All right, so here comes the heaters. Let me see if there's anything else. I feel like I'm leaving something out. I, I sold a lot of shoes. My collection downsized, but and also. I forgot to mention, I'm preparing for the Yeezy release, so it's not like the best it's going to be again. Like, I've, I'm have i already like $700, $800 into the Yeezy release at the moment, and I'm preparing for it so I can make profit, obviously. So, that's kind of what I'm doing at the moment. Here's the new Rainy Champ Ultra Boost. Now, th this is a women's nine. I just sold these, but I'm just showing you guys because I have them. They're dead stock, brand new. I sold these for uh, 250 on StockX. And I'm actually about to, or 2.30 actually. They were having a free shipping thing yesterday, because it was Easter. Um, that's my order number. Oh shit. 
Um, I shouldn't have shown that. I'm gonna cut that out. <laughs> um, but StockX, I just sold them, so I gotta put this in the box. I've never sold anything on there. I'll do a video for that. Um, but you can see, nice shoe all along. This is really nice material in my opinion. And then this suede right here is super, super nice. I love it. Next up, another heater. We got the Yeezy 2 uh, Solar Reds. Boom, boom, bang, bang. Um, these are fake, so don't kill me for it. I just have had these in my room for like months now. Um, yeah, I just, I just have had these for in my room for months, and I just never like found the need to move them. But yeah, we got these. Um, they're fake, but you know, I don't know if these are close to the reels. I'm, I'm, I might be buying. I just said, I'm, I'm, I'm like four times, but I might be buying a pair of Red October real ones from Goat. But obviously, I don't have like four grand to spend at the moment, so I do like that payment plan thing they have. It's like called a firm. So I might buy a pair of Red Octobers because they're shooting up in price. But these, I mean, I don't know if these are good fakes or not. I mean, there's the there's a thing with the two. Tell me if these are good fakes in the comments. Um, but yeah, that that wraps it up with these. Um, where did my ultra boots go? So this is a shoe that started it off. These are the Hyper Dunk 2012s. Um, story around these, it was my birthday. Uh, my mom took me off at school and I basically just went to the mall and they had these sitting for like a hundred bucks and I'm like a huge Patriots fan. Like my bed is Patriots. I'm a huge Patriots fan and these were just sitting there. So we just scooped them up. Shout out to mom for doing that for me. I appreciate it. Crazy, crazy, um, crazy. No, um, I just liked it. I just liked it. Nice shoe. Um, where are my Ultra Boosts? I'm looking up, up here and there's more shoes I'm forgetting. Um, I don't want to forget anything. So, I'll be right back. Alright YouTube, so what is up? This is a couple days later and I was editing the footage, you know, to get it up on YouTube obviously. And I found out what happened was... The audio didn't record now it's recording right now i can see because it says it on the screen but i'm gonna finish this collection video now i had to go downstairs at the moment in the previous one and get some pairs of shoes obviously this is pretty weird so you know i obviously apologize for the malfunctions i don't even know what i filmed but i'm gonna i'm pretty sure i remember so um yeah a couple days later we had a track meet and it was pouring outside and i was running to my friend's house so we ended up um, I've had these for a while now, and everyone knows these are beat to garbage. These are my beaters, everyday wears, you know. Then we got the curry ones. Um, now I got these originally because they were actually pretty good for basketball. It's just that the traction isn't good. Otherwise, these are nice. These are pretty nice. I'm selling these on my site. Go check out the site, uh, please sneak. .com or .com. It's one of the two. Um, I'm trying to get the .com link, uh, but I gotta mess with that at the moment. Um, but yeah, we got these. Make sure you go enter your email on the site because I'm gonna be giving you guys updates. Um, I'm pretty sure I showed you these. I just gotta make sure I know what I showed you guys. So there's these. Um, there's the vans. I'm, I just have to make sure I showed you guys these. These I got at um, during the mall vlog. A lot of stuff I got from that mall vlog. Um, I believe I showed you the red October, not red October, is the the heat, the heat of the video, the solar red uh, Yeezy twos. See, this is so screwed up because of that, and I, I'm sorry if I missed some shoes. Everything you can kind of see in the background. This is just here because I have no room for it. But these are the solar reds, and these are fakes. They're pretty good fakes, though. Um, according to my friend, this color is off on the sole let me know if that's a problem i don't know these are size eight and i've had them forever and they're fake so yeah I, I mean, you won't see me often pretty much ever with the solar red easy i hate solar reds anyways um but here's the best shoe in my collection at the moment i'm looking around and i don't see much else we got the zebra yeezy 350 v2 obviously you know what these are going for i paid around 1300 really good price in my opinion because you don't see size 11 and a half often and 
at the moment, you know, they're going down a little bit because stock is kind of revealing itself. So I'm pretty happy with what I bought. Um, I do need to clean them. I wore them a few times and I mean, you might be able to see right there, you know, there might be some dirt and stuff on it. It's not that dirty. It's just a little bit dirty, but, um, yeah, uh, crazy shoe. I got these from Scotty Skinner at Soul Steals, uh, from Soul Supremacy. So yeah, they're, they're pretty obviously legit. I have the box over there. They, they even came with a go authentication card as well but the fakes on these are really good the fakes i got they were all right you know but the fakes on these are super good so you can see that zebra pattern that makes it look like a zebra these are just crazy i feel like i shouldn't have bought these yet i should have waited till after this upcoming yeezy release uh, and then bought these because you know i'm probably gonna the inventory is really high in these new yeezys coming out so i'll probably be able to get a few pairs so you know i w it would have been smarter for me to wait after but it doesn't really matter but yeah, I'll probably buy some new V2s after this release. Uh, we'll see. If I don't cook, I'll sell all my bots. So, it's kind of like, if I don't cook, it's a loss. It's a fat L. But I I prepared very well so far. But you guys can see this. I'll do a new video coming up on the Core Whites. Completely different shoe than this. It doesn't even, uh, the Supply 350, it looks like it's there, but it's like not visible. So that's kind of cool. Uh... It has the pull tab. It seems like they, they're trying to like integrate the pull tab into the new V2s now, so that's pretty cool. And also, I did get a haircut, so that's kind of weird as well. You know, like, my hair was different before in the video, and now it's just different. I look different in the vi in two-in-one video, but you guys can see this is a crazy shoe. This is an all-time grail. I was super salty when I didn't get these for retail, and I was like, yo, I need these shoes. I need these, like, so badly. So I was like, these are the move. I bought them. I pulled the trigger, and I'm very happy with them. I wore these a lot because I don't really have any other shoes at the moment because I lost those Vans for a while, and these, like, I lost a few shoes around the house, and I just couldn't find them. I ended up finding these and these on the same day. So, you know, I had some stuff to wear, so, but before that, I wore these for like six days straight, or no, four days straight, to school. But now, um, it's a couple days later, and I've already worn these twice, and these are so nice. Uh, yeah, I kind of relaced it, and I need to tie that again. Uh, the thing, the thing about lacing these on the back, it's like, it kind of unties sometimes, and it's really annoying. That's it. Otherwise, you know, I wore them twice already. And I'm gonna wear these a couple times. You know, oh shit. Um, but yeah, I'll be able to make my money back regardless on these. I mean, it doesn't really matter. Um, crazy, 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 crazy shoe. I'm really happy to have these. Um, I got the box over there. So eventually, I'll probably sell these and upgrade to the yellows because the yellows are my favorite. I got these because these are like a reverse yellow, you know, like the yellow, and it's kind of like a reverse. But these are so comfortable. Like, it's not the boost that's really comfortable, it's the upper. The upper, it kind of like, it fits you like a glove and stuff. It's just such a nice feeling. And then, I don't know, I feel really locked down. Like, I might buy a fake pair of these just to run in. Like, for track, like, these give me, like, such a lockdown feel. It's, like, weird. But I love these. These are insane. 3M on the back. The, the laces are completely 3M. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Oh, now the shoes along here, I'm not really going to show. These I mentioned in Scoop's video, I said I would sell for a dollar. I was joking. I don't waste time like that. Um, there's other stuff right there. But that would be pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. That's my sneaker collection as of now. Now, obviously, I was investing in the, the Yeezy release, so I might do one after again, which will be better. But yeah, this is much better than my collection on Scoop. Complete upgrade, honestly. I mean, if you remember that, I literally... I literally only had like a pair of Oxford tans. 200,000 views though. That was pretty cool. So right now, let's see how many views this could get. Let's try and get uh, 200 likes. You know, maybe you guys will hit that. Maybe you won't. But yeah, thank you guys for 4,500 subscribers. You get, the support has been insane. Uh, that Yeezy video, the real versus fake, has done really well. And um, you know, you guys have been killing it lately. So hit that thumbs up if you're watching. The haters are gonna dislike. You guys already know that. I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this. And, you know, if you're a young sneaker collector, every time you upload a sneaker collection video, you get hate for it. That's honestly the thing about YouTube. Um, there's just so many people that want to see you fail, and that's honestly uh, it's what's going to happen if this gets probably more views than how many subscribers I have. So, like, if it gets over 4,500 views, I'm going to start receiving more and more hate. So, that's just the thing about it. But that will be pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate all the support. That will be it. 
let me know if this was heat or not. Um, this is all I can afford at the moment. You know, we got the Yeezy release coming up. I'll keep, I'll definitely keep you guys updated on that. It's Glee Sneak. Any Yeezys I get will be posted on my website. So go enter your email because we're setting the website up, and that will be it. I'll see you guys in the next video. We're out. Peace.